Okay, this is uh, number 32, and we're, again, solving polynomial equations by factoring. And we've got these decimals, and we can always write them as fractions. There's lots of ways to do this. You can just multiply everything by 10, and that's going to move the decimal point one place to the right. If you have trouble seeing that, you could rewrite this as 3 over 10, x squared plus 2 over 10, x minus 1 over 10 equals 0. And then you can multiply both sides of this equation by 10. And then we end up with just 3x squared plus 2x minus 1, and that equals 0. And now we have a general trinomial, but it's another one of these easier ones because we know the only way we can get 3 is by 3 and 1, so we could write this as 3x and x. And there's only one way we can multiply to get 1. That's just going to be 1 and 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we just have to figure out our signs so we know our signs are going to be different because we multiply to give a 1 and the sign of the large would be positive. But in this case, we just have to get a positive. So we can either put 1 here, a positive here, negative, because the signs would be different, or negative positive or positive negative. Well, if you put negative and positive, you get positive 3 minus 1, and that's going to work. So you just try it, and then you FOIL it out to check. So we get... 3x minus 1x is 2x, so that works. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1, and 3x times x is x squared, so that works. Okay. And that's equal to 0. So we know that either 3x minus 1 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. And then I can add 1, so 3x equals 1, so x equals 1 third, or x equals negative 1. So your solution set is 1 third negative 1. All right? And then 34. x minus 1 cubed minus x minus 1 squared equals 0. Now, you might say, oh, I'm going to have to expand this out again like we did number um, 30. And we could square that out. So you could expand this and square this out and simplify it. But there's an easier way to do it because if we look at a common factor each term, we've got two terms and there's a common factor of x minus 1 squared. It goes into both these, so I would factor that out. Now, if I factor that out, what's left in the first term x minus 1, and if I factor out x minus 1 squared, that's just 1. So I factor this out of both terms, and then I can simplify this. This is going to be x minus 1 squared, and this is going to be x minus 1 minus 1. So this ends up being x minus 1 squared times x minus 2. So that wasn't so bad, so I know that either x minus 1 squared equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. Well, this is the same thing as it's saying that x minus 1 equals 0. So x either equals 1 or x equals 2. So there's your solution set, 1, 2. That's 34. So we factored out this common factor. And sometimes we use brackets when we have parentheses and brackets, so you can see it a little bit better. Just go through the bracket there. So we're factoring x minus 1 squared out of both these terms. Okay. And then 36. We have x minus 4 to the third minus 4 times x minus 4 equals 0. And again, we have a common factor of x minus 4, so I'm going to factor that out. I, like I said, you could expand this, multiply this all out, but this is a lot easier. Just factor out x minus 4. 
And what's left in the first term is x minus 4 squared minus 4. Because we factored out the x minus 4. And um, we have to simplify this because we've got to get one factor. So it would be x minus 4, or not one factor, but a little bit easier, so this is going to be, so we'll square this out. This is going to be a binomial squared, so it's going to be the first term squared, x minus twice the product, 8x, and then plus 16. So we have to multiply that out, or you could FOIL it out over here. You could do x minus 4 times x minus 4. You could do that. And then minus 16. Or, I'm sorry, minus 4, excuse me equals 0, so now we've got x minus 4 here, and this becomes x squared minus 8x plus 12. Now this is already factored, but we can factor this. This is a nice, simple trinomial. x and x, and again, this tells me that these signs will be the same, and if they're the same, this tells me what they are. They're both negative. They multiply to give 12, and if they're the same, their sum is 8, so that would be 6 and 2. And we still have this factor of x minus 4 over here, so these are our three factors. So you, now you know that either x minus 4 equals 0, or x minus 6 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. And if I add 4, I get x equals 4, or x equals 6, or x equals 2. So my solution set would be 2, 4, 6. And there you go.